on the left side of the screen, you can see the DDT 3000, which is the predecessor to the DDT 2500, which is on the right side of the screen. Now, um, so in this video, I'm just gonna do a quick physical comparison and some other comparisons here, and then I'll follow that up with a few things about, in the end, about how to set the DDT for typical timing in the United States. So first off, uh, one of the major differences you're gonna see here is that if you look at the screen, the screen here has a much, the screen on the 2500 has a much higher contrast, the numbers are bigger, and the screen is a little bit longer here than it is over here. Um, you know, I personally like that higher contrast and those bigger numbers. Now, um, as you see here on this screen, this screen here has much more information on it than this screen here. This screen here is just like when you start a clock. So I'm gonna give you an example. If you start a clock here, let's just go ahead and hit the pause button here. As you see, the clock is counting down and there's still a lot of information on the screen. But here on this side, if we click the clock on the 2500, it's nice and clean and I do appreciate this personally a lot. Again, like I said, again, I'll say this. If you get either clock, you're going to be satisfied with it. I mean, they're both fantastic clocks. They both keep time very well. And um, you won't have any issues with either clock. I'm just going over comparing and contrasting so people can see what's the difference. So again, this lever right here, right here is completely white. Now, what I like about this lever right here is that if you see right here, if you click this button, if you click the lever, you, it's just a little white accent here. And I like that because I know I'm, I've done this plenty of times playing in the chess clubs where I forget to hit the clock. But you can kind of look out the corner of your eye to see whose size clock is running a little bit easier, I think, personally, than you can see with this one since this one is completely white. The paddle here or the lever here is a little bit wider. The clock is a little bit longer. Um, I think it's just much more of a modern appeal is what it was going for. So, for example, let's just take a look. Let me pause this here. We look at the side of the clock here. As you can see, uh, the DDT 2500 brand is on the side. There's white accents going around all the way around the clock. As you can see here in the back, got the DDT branding there and also on this side here. Now, let's just take a look at the 2500 as we go around. This This is a DDT pie, by the way. Just some, it, this black casing is not on the typical 3000. So, um, you know, if you look at it from the side, it's more plainer on this side right here. No accents coming around. If you look in the back here, again, don't worry about these right here because this has a Raspberry Pi in it. Just imagine this is gone. Uh, and on this side, now this is where they major diff differ it. You see this three and a half millimeter uh, jack hole. This 2500 here does not have one. What this is for is when you play a DG, when you're broadcasting games with a DDT board, the, the, the cable that goes to the computer splits and one cable goes to the board and one cable goes to this clock so it can keep track of the time when you make moves. So again, in very high level tournaments, say like tournaments like the Magnus Carlsen and the big time players playing at their recording, you're likely, I'm, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure what, 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 say with bigger, more high stake tournaments, you're only gonna see these clocks here because they're gonna have these uh, board and clock and all that stuff interconnected so they can have very good um, you know, housekeeping on the data collection from the games and move times. This um, clock here does not have that, but that's okay. I, they, they were, in my opinion, I don't think they was going for that. I think they was just going for a newer, modern, more sleeker look. And to me, they absolutely achieved that with this clock. Now, let's take a look at the bottom of the clock. Now, if you look at the bottom here, you can go ahead and pause the video if you want. These are the options that the clock has. Uh, this one here has a total of 30 options. And if we look at this clock here, this clock here has a total of, I believe, 36 options. So just pause the video so you can see the difference. But for the most part, all the major time controls that most people will want preset are preset on both of these clocks. Just this one has a few more um, presets. Um, so that's pretty much it, it for the for the compare and contrast. And again, the, the, the two major things is that, I mean, other than the actual design aesthetics, the two major things that this one here has more information on the screen 
and also is able to connect to the DGT uh, uh, data capture with this. And, um, and that's pretty much the big differences, uh, you know, other, other than the design aesthetic. Now, what I want to show people here in, a, in the United States, we uh, typically, at least me personally, have typically played uh, delay have played tournaments of increment and have played handicap games, meaning where, for example, you get somebody five minutes and the other side two minutes. So I'm gonna do a really quick demonstration on how to set this clock. Um, it's basically just the same, about, about the same as that, really, no different. So let's go ahead and cut this off and pick our time. So we can see we wanna go to the US delay manual setting, that would be setting 25. So we're gonna go to 25, number 25 on this clock. What's cool is, let's see, if you cut it on, it should say let's play. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. So now we hit this plus button here and we go to, I guess maybe we can go down. Let me see. Yeah, if we go to 25, be quicker this way. We go to 25. <coughs> see here, I was testing it out. I've done a 70 minute game with a five second delay. And I do like the delay um, countdown in this game. So let me show you. So here in this, now we would just hit the play button. And what it does, you see this thing flashing here is in set up mode. So let's just set it to um, 90 minutes just for the sake of it. So we're going to move over here, which that would be a minute and an hour and 30 minutes for each side. And we just keep going here. Let me hit this here. I'm trying to hit this here. OK, hit this. All right. So the delay, let's just give a 10 second delay so you can see that it goes uh, uh Go down here. And again, if you want to get one side more or the other, when you set the left side, I guess, depending on how you look at it, here it's going to do both sides the same. But when you get to this side, you can change this side up or down. So, all right, so that's it pretty much. I think we can leave it like this and just go ahead and hit the, I guess this exits the programming stage. So we hit this. So now um, we just hit the uh, play button and let's depict whose side is black or white. So you see this lever is up and this black bars indicating that's black side but if you want to switch that we just hit that now this is black side to start so now we hit this the time will start and now you can see the delay in the middle counting down before the actual um game time counts down which so anyway that's pretty easy to set i think all right so now um, we, we, I showed you that. Now let's take a look at increment really quick. Uh, we can go here what they call Fisher bonus. There's a lot of Fisher bonuses already set up like 90 minutes plus 30 seconds, 25 plus 10. A lot of very common ones, three plus two, three plus five, 10 plus 10. Let's just make a wonky one. Let's just go to manual setting, which is 21. All right, again, let's cut this. So I always like that, that splash screen when it says let's play. I always think that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go here to... Um, Let's go to 21, let's see, we go, yeah, we go here, hit that button, now we're at 21, because it's zero, zero, that means we're in manual setting mode. Hit this here. So now let's just do something, wow, let's just give uh, one side, uh, let's just say 30 minutes, and let's go on to the other side, I get the other side, say 20 minutes, okay? So we gave this side 20 minutes, this side 30 minutes okay now we're going to go over to the increment now um what we're going to do we're going to get one side let's get one side uh 20 seconds increment and give the other side uh 10 seconds increments let's go down so 20 second increments 10 second increments and now let's just go ahead and hit this button here and now we hit start as you can see he started with 30 minutes and 20 seconds he started with 20 minutes and 10 seconds so we hit he gets 20 seconds, now we hit, he gets 10 seconds. So that's how you set up a uh, increment game if it's not something preset you already want to use. So now the last thing I'm gonna show you how to do if you want to set up a handicap game, like give one side five minutes, another side two minutes, or some other time like that. Let's cut this off. So you go to the uh, time bracket. You see each one is kind of, that's another thing. They have these separated a little bit better on the bottom. Like this is time, meaning this is straight up time for the game here. This is Fisher bonus. This is all the Fisher bonus options here. Delay Bronstead and Delay USA and Biome and some other um, games over here I'm not going to get into, but I'll just mention Scrabble in case if somebody wants to play that. So here we would go to manual setting, which is number eight. 
cut this on. And then we go to number eight. As you can see, I've already been playing around with it, but let's just do another time here just for the sake of it. So when you hit now, because you're in eight, you're in a programming mode or the programming, um, I guess, section, hit this plus and uh, I mean, play and uh, pause button because this is flashing and you notice it in the program mode and take your arrow and move over. So let's just give this side here 10 minutes. All right. Whoop, let's go back. Sorry. Let's go back here. Let's give it 10 minutes. And let's get this other side over here. Um, I don't know, let's give him 15 minutes. Just like that, we gave one side 10 minutes, one side 15 minutes. And then um, basically you just hit, hit, the, hit the pause and play button. This right here lets you know, now you get to pick which side you want is the black star. Don't say black stars on this side, we would um, hit the paddle on this side. And now you can see the black lines up in the bottom indicating that it's, that's the side for black. Then if you hit the pause and play button, the game now begins just like that. You hit the clock, hit the clock, and there you have it. So, uh, the, and, and that's pretty much it. That's the compare and contrast uh, the, and the introduction to the 2500. I'm gonna cut them off just for one second because what I'm gonna do now is, I meant to do this in the video, but the last thing I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna do a paddle, I mean a lever sound test. So I'm gonna put my microphone close to it and then I'm just gonna hit the paddle several times and you can hear what that sounds like. I hope that came through pretty good. But anyway, that's the end of the video. If you got any questions about the DDT 2500 or even the DDT 3000, let me know. But since this here is the start of the show, I'm going to end with this one and just say, uh, if you ever get a chance, let's play. How about that? You guys have a good one. Take care.